I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. Thanks to my sponsor, Making Faces Unisex Salon in Poughkeepsie and Fishkill, featuring their own line of American-made mineral makeup that I'm wearing, Avis Cosmetics, A-V-A-S Cosmetics.net. Well, Casey sang the words, you're mine, while staring into Haley's eyes during his final song on American Idol, fueling the rumors that they're dating. But Casey told us the next day, no, not to read anything into that. Casey says he didn't plan on ending up on Haley. It just happened that way. So if he wasn't sending a message, what was he doing? Casey says he was saying goodbye to his very special musical friend. He says he isn't and never was dating Haley. Well, count on Kathy Griffin and her comedian friends to express what some of us really are thinking about the royal wedding. In a special that aired several times over the weekend on the TV Guide Network, Griffin said there were no Americans there, but the uh, Beckhams were there and we'll take them. One of the other comedians noticed that Guy Ritchie and his apparent new girlfriend were outside Westminster Abbey. Griffin said, that's gotta hurt Madonna. And the other comic noted, she put on a fake British accent to come to events like this. Well, Griffin then painted this scene. You see, Madonna is at home in her apartment with Sarah Ferguson eating haagen and donut holes, crying. <laughs> so ask Will Ferrell point blank what his plans are for returning to the office. And this is what you get. No plans whatsoever. I mean, one more next week and that's it for now. That's it for right now could mean something or, well, it could mean nothing. Hmm. Will Ferrell was in Steve Carell's final episode last week, but wasn't there for his actual last day. Ferrell says he's kind of thankful for that. He says while he was so flattered to be a part of those last couple of shows, he says he also felt like a guest who shouldn't be at this send-off party. A little more than two weeks are left for Warner Brothers Television and CBS to decide what's going to happen with Two and a Half Men. On May 18th, CBS will unveil its fall schedule for advertisers. An executive close to the situation says whether Two and a Half Men is returning, who's in the cast, and whether a revamped format would be ready for a fall debut or be delayed until mid-season will be resolved before that May 18th deadline. Some seats at the Dancing with the Stars season finale later this month are worth more than $10,000. That's right. During an auction on Friday, the winning bidder paid $11,000 for tickets to attend the show. Other items being auctioned off include tickets to American Idol and a charter trip on a private yacht. The event was a fundraiser called Race to a Race MS. The group's founder says over the years, these auctions have raised more than $10 million for research toward finding a cure for multiple sclerosis. Emma Watson says it's not true that she left Brown University because she was bullied. On her website, Watson writes she has never been bullied in her life, and certainly never at Brown. She says she's not sure what her plans are for the fall semester, and she says like many of her fellow Brown students, she's considering studying in another country. Brown has not commented on news reports citing an anonymous Brown insider who says Watson was bullied at the school. Well, Kid Rock says he loves America and he loves Detroit and he loves black people. Rock accepted the Detroit NAACP's Great Expectations Award during its annual fundraising dinner. Chapter leaders chose Rock for his support of Detroit. A group of about 60 people, though, picketed the awards because Rock has performed with a Confederate flag. They even set a Confederate flag on fire. Detroit NAACP President Wendell Anthony says their group is not lifting the flag, but lifting up a gentleman who has worked very hard to be a booster for Detroit. In local entertainment news, there's a fundraiser for Jilly in Booth, a local Dutchess County young woman who was diagnosed with a brain tumor and has to undergo surgery. The date for that Jilly in Booth fundraiser is Saturday, May 14th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Kitty Academy, 982 Main Street in Fishkill. Thanks to my sponsor, Making Faces Unisex Salon in Poughkeepsie and Fishkill. Call them today, 2960700. That's your latest entertainment report. For a new update daily, log on to BidHudson. News.com. I'm Kimberly Kay.